Hey everyone, welcome to your daily tarot scope reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. So nice to see everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. This reading will be for Tuesday, May 15th, 2018. Uh, where are my cards? I apologize. Let me get these to shuffle for you. Um, I will be using the John Holland Psychic Tarot deck for you today. Um, this reading is kind of morphing into a weekly because I feel like the energy, what my guides kind of say, is like three days pre, three days post. So uh, to me, that's seven days. So that's like a weekly. So um, I apologize, I don't do these as often as I like, but when I do, um, it's an extra added bonus. And it's a really, really critical week. Uh, we have a new moon moving into Taurus. I'm shuffling here, just so you guys know. Uh, new moon, I think it's uh, it's tomorrow, right? The 15th. And uh, the other significant... Uh, planetary movement is Uranus is finally leaving Aries and moving into Taurus. Um, the last time Taurus uh, Uranus was in Taurus was back during the Great Depression. So it should be really kind of interesting to see what this next decade kind of brings um, to the forefront. Um, Aries is all about the self, so we've, we've seen a lot of self-absorbed advances. Um, let's see, it moved into Aries in 2011, so now we're seeing this new shift, which is kind of interesting, and I think it's going to be more of a practical, grounded kind of energy. I think we're going to see a lot of uh, technology advancements in health. Um, but personally for you, I think um, this is all about focusing in on what do you want, you know, for the next 10 years, creating a, a, a long-term plan for yourself. Um, I know we all get caught up in the day-to-day, -day, but really sitting down and thinking about it, taking the time out on this new moon, um, uh, this energy this week, and really honing in on um, you know, just being reflective and thinking about, okay, um, what do I want? What am I going to do with my life? Where am I going? So let me shuffle. Let's see what the cards um, kind of have to say. Okay. All right. Two of Pentacles, Movement Choices and Decisions. The moon card, number uh, 18, which is also called the shadow card in John's deck. And then, ooh, the four of wands, foundation and achievements. Yeah, so I feel like maybe if you are you haven't been sure which way you were going, it's funny. We have a new moon and we have the moon card here. Um, see the light and dark energies, right, of the moon. Um, and, and, and this is about facing right fears, facing your dark side, um, maybe getting past these fears of not knowing where you're going or projecting too far into the future, but really sitting and looking deep into your heart, right? Pe constantly, like I always tell all my clients, peel that onion, peel that onion, um, get down to that soul level as far as what resonates for you in your life and what works for you. Um, let me just, I'm going to have to put my glasses on. I'm sorry. And my, <laughs> my regular glasses I left downstairs. These are like my emergency in my desk glasses. So I apologize. They're kind of goofy. But um, let me show you the first card. Two of Pentacles. Okay. And this is the need for stability. Uh, maybe right now a lot of you could be juggling a lot um, or you're at this precipice. You see how this man is standing there looking at, you know, kind of all his options and life has maybe been kind of up and down um maybe even anticipating any change um now everybody's in a different phase in their life but this is what's coming through and it's almost as if i'm hearing like you're making a choice about your money because you can see the coins right and making uh, decisions about relationships and then which way do you want to grow with this bud here? You know, you're just like, okay, what do I really want? Sky's the limit. 
I'm hearing they're saying sky's the limit for you right now. If you put the effort in, movement, choices, and decisions. Yeah, time to decide what do I really want to focus in on my life. I think with Taurus moving into uh, Uranus, it, there's going to be the focus on on your material life and and um, your finances, the earthly things that uh, Taurus represents, right? So... Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of other planet movements coming into play here, but, you know, this is a huge, significant planetary change. So to really look at that, like, in a bigger picture kind of way. Um, so, yeah, institutions, country, the world, Mother Earth, we might be even seeing some changes there. Um, now, I mentioned, right, that... Um, Uranus was in Taurus back during the Great Depression, and we know that wasn't like the best time. Because um, Uranus will bring upheaval, chaos. But I, I feel like this is definitely, we're moving more into a positive shift and change, like maybe more advancements in global warming, um, um, advancements in technology. I mentioned that earlier. So, um, personally for you. So let's get back to this. So I think focusing in on maybe what's been blocking you to be able to move forward and purge, getting out of any kind of emotional state and having faith is the time to do it right now. Okay. Cause you're at this change, you're at this precipice and do it, do it, get out of your own way. I think the light at the end of the tunnel is going to show itself. You're going to feel this shift. You're going to feel a lot of changes this week. Maybe the, you know, enough to make you want to ride that new energy. Like it's pretty powerful. Like all of a sudden you wake up one day and you're like, oh my gosh, I, f I feel so much better. And that's, that's when you know it's a planetary shift. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sweating here. It's a little warm. Um, I'm kind of beating up here, but anyway, so you get, you get the idea, right? And then the final outcome card is the four of wands. Okay. Um, foundations and achievements. I love this card. Um, the four of wands is, is really significant in being victorious over what you want. I think if you set the tone this week, uh, especially moving through the month of May, you can really manifest what it is that you want. Okay. Um, I'm just listening here for a minute. Um, what else is coming in? The Four of Wands, you know, is about celebrating, looking how far we've come, like we're going to get over these fears and focus on the choices and the decisions we need to make, specifically on how am I going to move forward, right? And then knowing that the focus, right, is on your foundation. I don't know if you can see that. Right? You can build the wealth that you want and what's significant for you. Um, now, it's funny because a lot of people may consider that you know, monetary. Some of you may consider that just wanting to be comfortable um, and in the space that resonates for you. That makes sense. Um, you know, it's not always about, you know, the big, the coins, you know what I'm saying? Um, although, you know, um, it does help, right? So just be on the lookout. I mean, I feel like if you do this work, like you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Okay, about how much of this shift in planetary change is going to bring about what you need in your life. All right. So I think that's it uh, for today. Let me see what else is coming in. Abundance, happy home, trials overcome. I think it's just being brave. You know, it's it not it's not just words. Everybody like it, like I always say, is at different stages of their lives. And I think that's the tough part, right? Is getting over the can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, 
But, you know, take advantage of this new moon. Sit down and write down your attentions. Give yourself 10 minutes and think about what it is that you want to change in your life. And um, you can manifest it. You can absolutely manifest and integrate anything new that you want in your life. Maybe some of you want to move. Maybe some of you are going to be getting married. Okay, so whatever it is for you personally, I feel like it's definitely coming at a time um, after putting in the effort, right? Making the choices and the decisions that you need to make about your life. Where am I going? What am I doing? Getting over any fear-based experiences, maybe from the past. Oh, you know, I tried that. That didn't work for me. Um... I don't, I don't know what I want. Projecting too far into the future, you know, creates anxiety. So, so the key thing to do is to really stay in the now without projecting too far into the future. And this message is for me too, <laughs> because I'll tell you, you know, um, we're all human beings, right? We're all here, uh, walking down that path to enlightenment, to, what serves us best and make us happy. That That's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. I wish you all the best and we'll see you in a couple of days. And uh, your monthlies will be out really soon. Really excited. I know it might be a little early for June, but um, it doesn't matter. We have to, I always have to plan ahead. So they're delivered to you uh, in a timely basis. Okay. So we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Have a great night. Bye-bye.